All righty. We got our first casualty of the day. This guy is down because I broke a bolt right here because I hit the arm and the arm broke the bolt. Easy fix. It's just a little bent bolt. Flying in bandos, AKA concrete structures that are devoid of people and not being used. This stuff in concrete, it doesn't come without uh, penalties in my experience. Yeah, there's all these really cool, awesome videos out there of guys absolutely slaying the nuts off different abandoned structures, and that's great and all. But let's keep it real, man. What you're seeing online is probably the pilot's like best clip or best pack or even like an edit of like the best little mini clips that they've had all day. Now think about it, right? Like for every video you see of some guy's flying session in an abandoned area, how many packs do you think that guy's flying? And they actually did it, they got it on film. But what that kind of doesn't really cover is for the actual amount of effort that they put into that stuff. Quite likely they put in, for any given video that looks really cool, some guy put in a ton of effort, ton of packs, learned that space really well, ripped it a bunch of times. It might not even be their first time in a spot, so they might already have some really good lines. They might even know that spot so well that they're flying it half by memory and stuff like that. There's a lot more to it that you're not seeing online no one because no one covers it because no one's going to watch 20 packs of straight footage and every single crash and every single this and every single that technically it should be pretty easy because it's just like gigantic gates that you're flying through so if you can power loop gates on a racetrack you should be able to fly through stuff like this pretty easily but these places can really mess up your your stuff when you hit stuff like this at speed uh that's a hard impact bare minimum you're going to break in the average like crash here is you're going to screw up some props next thing motors if you land upside down and you know like cartwheel and stuff like that and all that's going on your motor shaft you're likely to mess up some motors at least bearings if not shafts that really sucks too third thing is your frame the rooster is a tough frame to start with you know it's got the whole titanium thing going on good carbon blah 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 uh, i can swap out arms and all that um, i'm also running a lot of tpu protection specifically for stuff like this when you're hitting you know when you're hitting concrete, I would much rather be ripping up some little TPU stuff than carbon or like frame. Uh, the TPU is gonna absorb a little tiny bit of impact. That's just pure physics. And yeah, it's gonna protect your carbon or at least to a point, it's gonna protect your carbon. Same thing with these guys I run on my GoPro, right? It's, nothing's invincible, but I have a little bit of protection. I'm running a pretty robust frame. Uh, and honestly, like, if not for this frame, I can't think of very many other frames that I could bring to a spot like this that are gonna take the same beating and the same number of fails that I encounter every day as, as this thing will. Like, a lot of that's to do with the cage and a lot of that's to do with the arms. You know, I don't wanna make this a sales commercial for the rooster necessarily, and I don't wanna diss frames I haven't flown because that would be unfair to me. Um, all I'd say is like, if you wanna slay bandos, uh, build, build, get it yourself a tough frame. Flying in concrete is just, in terms of wear and tear, I guess, uh, it's just a whole different ballpark. And yeah, I just wanted to call that out because you see so many amazing things and so many people trying and doing really, really cool stuff that it's like really easy to forget maybe the amount of like quads they've gone through to do that or the amount of times they've tried it. So before you're tempted to like throw your own quad into some crazy stuff, like, maybe make a make a plan for that right i'm not saying don't do it it's fun i love doing this stuff it's challenging it's fun it's interesting uh but plan around that right take it into account don't take your super awesome super light super complicated frame and just rip it in a bando first time and then cry when you bust it up like don't start having fun but don't have illusions and just really don't like don't suicide your quads for no reason unless that's exactly what you intend to do because uh, it really can suck having said that it's fun stuff to do so you know once you get to a certain level of confidence don't have any fear of trying these spots out just start slow work your way up and yeah eventually you will get to the epic you know cool stuff you're proud of that you can post or whatever